Kirk, we're really enjoying an absolutely gorgeous December day in Florida. I was just talking to the folks from Waco who, of course, come down from Michigan, and they're just kind of going, it exists. It, it really is, it exists. Does. It does. But it's a beautiful day, mid-70s, and we're just having a great old time. And, of course, you're here. I should have wore shorts today. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Obviously, uh, we've all been through a real interesting time. I think yes. that's the most polite term we have for it. What has Sarasota Avionics done to not only bridge uh, yourself from the pandemic, but work forward? Well, then during the pandemic, our actually business went up. Uh, people started buying private aircraft, so they started retrofitting the aircraft. What we've really done, we've really last year, we've really started a marketing, just a push uh, with my wife and Fernanda doing our marketing. And we've really come up with a few themes that we come up. We really pushed it on Facebook, social media. People couldn't get out, so we had to get to them. And then buying online. People have been buying online, so we're able to do that with the marketing and that sort of thing. Other than that, uh, the world today, our problems right now are, are getting equipment, supply chain issues. So uh, we've kind of seen it coming. So we we bought ahead. Uh -huh. And so we're OK for a few months. But uh, after that, we don't know what's going to happen. So with that, now we're starting to say, hey, the guys that have equipment now, like Aspen and Avidyne and Bendix King, let's start pushing their equipment. So we've kind of had some installs planned for those. We kind of pushed those guys ahead. And so we're waiting for the Garmin's to come with their equipment so we can install it at a later date. So hopefully that, that'll work out for us. So. One of the things that's come out of this whole episode, working with the airlines became more and more <laughs> injurious to the soul, so to speak. Business aviation and general aviation became that much more popular. And there were opportunities that both sides of the industry have definitely taken on. And we are seeing increases in activity across the board. The question is, can we sustain that? Will we see that kind of activity keep up? Because the big question is whether or not the airlines are ever going to get any friendlier, and I wouldn't take a big bet on that one. Yeah, I don't see GA going anywhere. I mean, it's just only increasing. I mean, even still today, can you find an airplane to buy right now? <laughs> at, at the prices we paid a year ago. prices, baby, yeah, it's zero you go. So, I mean, we were looking at another aircraft, and we're just going to have to wait. Yeah, I don't see it going anywhere. People are still going to fly GA. They don't want to fly the airlines. It's still a pain to fly right now. So, you know, the guys that have the money are going to fly GA. Just it's a bit, amen to that. Yeah, to keep us busy. What kind of gear is popular right now? What are, what are people looking for? Oh, right now, the, the, the Garmin Autopilot, the S-Tech Autopilot, the Aspen Max really came in with that. So we're, we're really... The trade-up program was interesting, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it's wonderful. The trade-up program for the Aspen is great. The S-Tech 3100, that was a great advertising they did the marketing where you get the 3100 upgrade and you you have the s -Tech servos you get all your servos overhauled for free with that trade-in program it's amazing that they did the garmin gfc 500 the gfc 600 autopilots going through the roof right now we can't every airplane we got in the hangar we're putting one autopilot in right now so and thank god we can still get them <laughs> so uh, uh, the s -Tech 3100s are like a 12-week back order right now, 12 to 13 week. But the Garmin Autopilots, we're still getting those. So we're still putting along. As long as uh, Garmin keeps putting the STCs out there, we'll put them in every aircraft we can find. So. Kirk, we, we have watched Sarasota uh, become prominent, stay prominent, continue to go. Matter of fact, uh, we've recommended you guys over just about everybody else based on our own experience with the fact that you took one of our airplanes, tore it to shreds, put all the new technology in, and damn if it didn't fly great from the beginning without a glitch outside of one self-imposed one. Yes. Here, how can people get more information about Sarasota uh, Avionics you know, and how they can start standing in line? Yeah, sure. Uh, social media is the best way to get a hold of us, Facebook, social media. Uh, but www.sarasotaavionics.com. Uh, you know, my dad always told me, treat a, treat a customer fair and you'll keep coming back. And I've said that since day one, and that's how where we're at today. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com.